WYS News. This is the 7 o'clock report with Ed Carter, Susan O'Day Fisher, Joe Finner on weather, and Joe Daggett on sports. Before World War II, a small group of South Carolina airplane enthusiasts got together and decided to form a club. All you had to do to join was to love to fly and a yen for very good food. Today that club is still meeting and Christina Moore and photographer Bobby Farquhar found out the breakfast club is flying high. Clear! Two Sundays a month, early in the morning, flight instructor Stoney Truitt prepares his single-engine Cessna for takeoff. VFR departure to the breakfast club this morning. Uh, two, three, two, yeah. Once all systems are go, the small plane is ready to take Truett on another tour of the scenic landscape. Truett's destination often varies. This time, it's a short half-hour flight to the small community of Twin Lakes, northwest of Aiken. You have to watch out here. The crowded skies mean it's time for another meeting of the Breakfast Club. Basically, the Breakfast Club is a lot of flyers from South Carolina and surrounding areas who enjoy flying a lot, look for an excuse to fly, and figure breakfast is a pretty good excuse. An excuse that hundreds of others just happen to use too. So they hold monthly fly-ins, barking their wings along the runway at private airstrips around the state. This week's breakfast host, club president Gerald Ballard. If you come every two weeks to these breakfast clubs, you'll never be a stranger in the state of South Carolina at no city or no town because you have already been there. It's a way to learn the state, learn uh, how to get around, keep current and flying and just have have a good time oh goodness look at that it's also a time for flyers to show off a little and pilots can check out the latest in airplane fashions but some of the club's original members have a different view of why folks come here to meet their friends their flying friends from all over just like mr johnson i don't see him at any time i go to the breakfast but the club is the only time you see is my wife fixing breakfast Two Breakfast indeed. Liars and their families finally settle down to scrambled eggs and grits and good conversation. Inside the hangar, all 300 seats are filled. Then, after a brief meeting, it's time to fly. Like they arrived, they depart one by one. Good old Southern courtesy dictates the lineup. And they're off, flying high and heading home. Until next time. Christina Moore, WIS News.